This episode of Fine Scale Modeler's New Product Rundown features Dora Wings Siversky, Hobby Boss's T60, Zvezda's Shijuka Class Sub, and Italeri's TR1. New Product Rundown brought to you by Hobby Zone USA, your source for hobby storage solutions, hard to find hobby tools, and aftermarket modeling needs. Welcome to New Product Rundown, Fine Scale Modeler's monthly look at the latest kits. I'm Aaron Skinner. And I'm Elizabeth Nash. Let's kick this episode off with a look at Dora Wings 148 scale Siversky J9. This is the sweetest designation for the upgraded P-35 fighters that were delivered in 1940. Some were appropriated by the U.S. Army Air Forces and designated P-35A. Surface detail on the airframe parts like the fuselage halves consists of fine recessed panel lines. The rudder is separate as are the upper deck forward of the cockpit, cal sides, and ring. The wings, comprising a one-piece lower wing, and left and right uppers have separate ailerons. The one-piece horizontal stabilizers mate with their elevators. Cockpit detail includes the floor, sides, firewall, rear bulkhead, pilot seat, passenger seat, instrument panel, and pedals and other controls. Up front, the Pratt & Whitney R1830 is represented by beautifully molded rows of cylinders with separate pushrods, ignition harness, and crankcase cover. The three-bladed prop can be modeled with and without a spinner. Well-molded landing gear legs and two-part wheels fit into the P-35's unique spatted gear bays. The J9's 13.2 millimeter wing guns are represented by long barrels and leading edge inserts and fairings for the spent casings. Clear parts supply the canopy's windscreen, sliding section, and the rear cover separately. Also here are light lenses, landing light covers, and the side hatch. Masks should make painting easy. Photo Edge Metal supplies instrument panels, seat belts, cockpit details, cowl flaps, and gear bay frames. Decals supply instrument faces, stencils, and markings for four Swedish J9s. Two in a heavily modeled camouflage, one in green and the other in natural metal. There is plenty of detail in Dora Wing's Swedish Siversky, and it should make for a neat project. Next up, it's Hobby Boss's 135th scale T-60. More than 6,200 of this light scout tank were built for the Soviet Army between 1941 and 1942. The lower hull is a tub with molded rivets and suspension mounts. The hull top has similar surface detail and louvers for the engine. The suspension includes road wheel arms, road wheels and idlers, return rollers, and drive sprockets. The tracks are individual plastic links that look delicate on the parts tree, including open guide horns. Many of the remaining parts detail the hull, including fenders, toolboxes, driver's compartment with separate hatches, and exhaust. The turret has a separate front section with a mantlet for the 20 millimeter main gun and coaxial machine gun. Photo Edge Metal supplies screens for the engine openings, brackets, fender braces, covers, and more. The small decal sheet has markings for two overall green T-60s, one with a white triangle on the commander's hatch, the other with guards emblems. This is a cool kit of an important Soviet tank. It would look great with a couple of figures to give a true sense of scale. Staying with Soviet subjects, let's take a look at Zvezda's 1 to 144 scale Shushuka class submarine. The Soviet Navy deployed 88 of the medium-sized subs in the Pacific, Black, Baltic, and Northern fleets. Each carried 38 crew and were armed with up to 10 torpedoes and two 45 millimeter guns. The hull halves are about 16 inches long and feature fine raised rivets and hull reinforcements as well as recessed hatches and limber hulls. The main deck has metal texture molded on. The swept back conning tower halves sandwich a deck with mounts for the deck guns. Other parts include the anchor housing, screws and shafts, planes, rudder, optional raised and lowered periscopes, posable decks for the rear gun, and optional bows including a dramatic toothed version. String is included to rig the sub, and there's a stand. Decals supply markings for two different boats at different times in their careers. Svezda has done a nice job with this Shashuka class sub, and it looks like it should build simply. Finally, let's take a look at Italeri's 148 scale TR1. This was the designation used for the third production version of Lockheed's U-2. It was designed for high altitude reconnaissance and equipped with improved radar, avionics, and electronic countermeasures. Italeri's kit has its origins in 1988 and it can be built into a nice replica. Raised panel lines mark airframe parts such as the fuselage halves, 
long wings, and horizontal stabilizers. The nose is separate and split in half, and the intakes come as outer and inner sections. The kit can be built as either a single seat operational bird or a two seat trainer using optional inserts behind the cockpit. Tubs are provided for both positions, as well as multi-part seats, instrument panels, and controls. The center sections of the underwing superpods are split in half, while the front and rear sections are single parts. Clear parts give separate windscreens and canopies for both cockpit sections, as well as camera ports underneath. Decals provide markings for four U.S. Air Force aircraft, a U-2S in South Korea in 2016 with nose art honoring Lieutenant Colonel Ira Steve Shooter Eady, a U-2 pilot killed when his aircraft crashed in September 2016, a TR-1A in Saudi Arabia in 1991 with cool tail art, a TR-1B in 1983, and a TU-2 in 2009. If you're looking to build the ultimate version of the U-2, then this is the kit for you. Look for reviews of the Seversky, T-60, and Shizuka at finescale.com in the near future. And you can find a ton of other modeling info on the website, like how-to tips and techniques, PDFs, and videos. And while you're there, stop by the CombatHobbyStore.com where you can pick up paint, tools, books, magazines, and now available, these terrific puzzles. Thanks for visiting FindScale.com. I'm Elizabeth Nash. And I'm Aaron Skinner. We'll see you next time. Really, there's a lot of S's going on. In Simply. Shizuka. Simply. Shizuka. Simply. Shizuka. If you're looking to build the ultimate version of the U2, then this is the kit for you. <laughs> oh, so, so close to the end. Look for reviews of the Seversky, T60, and Shijuka at Fine Scale. You kept the word Fine Scale. I know.